in today's video is going to be Big Boss Organisation. And follow these tips regardless of which point of education you're in. Doing GCSE, Japan, my GCSE version tips video. In my advice video, I said you need three things, even though my nails are different. Motivation, determination, organisation. Organisation is the most important because you don't want to go, oh shoot, where are my papers, which is what we don't want. You don't want to be thinking, are my papers in the bin, did I put them in the washing basket, did I leave them in my folder somewhere, like front, back, wherever, the end of my bed is really important because it will help those who are struggling perform really well. So organisation makes you more time effective is what I find. Like the more organised I am, the more time effective I'm going to be. So you have more free time because you're not having to look around the house for your sheets. In your free time you can do what you want if it's not your time you penciled in for revision. What you want is your organisation at the start of your revision sessions filing stuff away, then doing a revision and spare time doing what you want. First part is organisation at home. Make sure your desk is tidy and organised. Two is your f two is your files. Make sure that you're filing your sheets away from every lesson. Make sure you put them somewhere you can find them easily to and get to easily. Because you don't want to put them on top of the cupboard and find them. It's a pain in the back end to reach up. Make sure you're not shoving stuff in the front of the folder and never filing it away. If there is stuff on your desk. Put it in the right place. That's what comes along with being organised. It won't take long. We can all find a spare five minutes to tidy. You want nothing on your desk other than the essentials. So pens, get a pen pot, then you don't have pens lying around your desk. If you find pens lying around on your desk, then you need to do something about it. You also need to remember that you need to use your desk for work, which is what it's designed for. Like, don't leave your laundry on the desk. So with your folders, you need a folder per subject and a folder you can take into school and college for the day. Make sure that you're using dividers because they are the most important thing. They are king of organisation. And also in your folder, have your syllabus in the front. That way you know what you're learning. Also the syllabus tells you how to structure your folders if you do topic dividers. So if you miss it, you need to learn it. That is the most important thing. If your teacher doesn't give you the syllabus, print it out. This next point, Ibs Mo did a video on this. So I would advise you to check this bit because he explains it so much better than I do. Contents page. Make your own contents page based on the chapters for your exam board. Not your friend's exam board, not the next, your next door neighbour's exam board, your exam board. Number them and have sticky notes and top with the numbers so you can see where the numbers are. You want to have textbook copies, teacher's notes and your own written notes. And do that for every chapter. And at the back you want to have past papers, good essays, mock exams, really good work. And when you come to revise, they'll be ready to go. Get a magazine holder for your folders. That way your folders are organised. Also get one for your textbooks. And revision guides and that way you can find them much quicker organization for school college uni whatever organize your bag so you know exactly where everything is countless times I've lost my glue stick 
what we don't want to happen. We want to know where our glue stick is. <laughs> Luckily this time I've not lost it. I don't know why I just did that. For a bag it needs to be a good size, preferably a rucksack. I've done a video, what's in my college bag, so feel free to check that out. Thank you so much for 10 subscribers. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Slick Jumped Over the Lazy Dog. And how many videos am I up there? I'm also putting up a let's chat about GCSEs, which I've not made for a thumbnail yet. You need in your bag stationery, day folder, if you take your laptop take it, day folder, bottle of water, lunch box if you take that lunch, a book to read, that's it. Front of your folder, timetable because you need to know where you're going. Because in the first few weeks it's nice just to see what you're doing because you could easily get lost. I don't mean lost, I mean just not know where you're going. When you open your folder you need the king of organisation, dividers, then you need poly pockets, that, all that good organisation stuff, each bit of your folder will be divided into subjects, if you get handouts that are not hole punch put them in there, behind your folder you need to make sure you have either a refill pad or some lined paper, I have a refill pad but lined paper works. By the end of the week you need to fold them away or be filing them ready for the new week. Good thing for organisation is a calendar so you know what you're doing at a glance. Are you going away, are you going to a uni or college open day? Whatever you're doing you can see it at a glance. So hope you enjoyed this organisation video. I know it's probably not the longest video like I expected it to be so much longer. So, feel free to check out my GCSE revision tips and also what's in my college bag. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in another video.